Thank you, Indivari. Um, I think I, I'd first like to ask you what the government of Sri Lanka uh, should do in order to, response to, the, uh, to respond to the Channel 4 documentary. Is it necessary for the government to respond or uh, are there investigations needed? Government should respond to the Channel 4 documentary because Channel 4 has the power to shape narratives and perceptions, whether we like it or not, whether the information in that documentary is credible or not. It has the capacity to shape public thinking. Uh, I propose three things. One is that government should ask New Scotland Yard to come to Sri Lanka and to give their expert opinion on the Easter Sunday attack. They can certainly interview anyone they want. They can review all the evidence, the material that has been subjected to investigation. Second is the government of Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. I think you are facing a technical difficulty here. Uh, Professor, can you hear us? Documentary. One is Asad Maulana, uh, Maulana and the other is a police officer. Both are seeking asylum, two asylum seekers. And the third is Sri Lanka should immediately formulate a legal and policy framework to protect its population from online falsehoods and manipulations, meaning from fake news. We need an anti-fake news uh, framework so that this generation and the next generation will not believe in fabricated information. This is a global problem. It's not only in the case of Sri Lanka. So these are the three responses of the state in response to Channel 4 documentary. Um, how credible is Azad Maulana's allegations uh, leveled uh, on this uh, Channel 4 documentary? Asad Maulana makes two principal allegations. One is that General Suresh Saleh came to Sri Lanka in February of 2018 and met with Zaharan and Zaharan's brother Zaini in Vanathavillu, where Zaharan had his training camp. And I want to share with you categorically that the Malaysian immigration will clearly say that General Saleh was in Malaysia at that time. Uh, working in the Sri Lankan High Commission. Uh, Asad Maulan also says that General Saleh was involved in a particular suicide bomber called Jamil, who was, uh, who was designated to bomb the Taj Hotel. Right. And General Suresh Saleh, during the East attack, was also in India. During that time, he was following a one-year course at the National Defense College. So, Asad Maulana has no credibility when it comes to, to uh, dates, times, places. That is why I believe New Scotland Yard should also interview him and also investigate him. Uh, and one final question, Professor. Um, what measures and regulations should government take in order to protect the people from online falsehoods? I, I, you spoke about this, but other manipulations and also the spread of uh, extremist ideologies uh, in our part of the world. Sri Lanka should uh, revise its legal and policy framework when it comes to counterterrorism. We need an effective counterterrorism bill mm -hmm. right now. Second is the PTA is good. It has withstood its test of time, but we need rehabilitation included. We need cyber included. Second is we also need uh, uh, intelligence act. And third is we need a national security act. And finally, if you, if I must reiterate, we need an online safety bill. That is, we can't allow this fake information to affect this generation and the next generation. So I believe that we need these four legal frameworks and the capabilities to protect Sri Lanka from being affected in the immediate, mid and long term. 
Right. Uh, Professor, you mentioned how, uh, how uh, difficult it is for the country with uh, such an expose being uh, circulated on global international media platforms. But um, is, is, is this uh, really an attack on the country uh, when it comes to the UNHRC sessions um, around the corner? Or is there some credibility in terms of the accusations continuously being leveled against the country in terms of truth and reconciliation and accountability for human rights? Sri Lanka should rise to this challenge and should address them very intelligently. One is we need to double the strength of our foreign service, meaning our diplomats, recruit the best and the brightest to serve in that. Another is we need a very strong information capability. We don't have that one. We need to dominate the information space, meaning we need strategic communications capabilities. We need our military, law enforcement, intelligence, and other agencies to be modernized. We are still fighting, thinking in terms of the physical terrain, the physical fight we had in 2009. National security has evolved new challenges. So modernization is very important so that we won't face these kind of issues. Right. Thank you very much, Professor Rohan Gunaratna, national security expert and the author of the new book, Sri Lanka's Easter Sunday Massacre, Lessons for the International Community. Thank you for joining us.